Hello everyone, Agent Fluffy here. I misspoke on which part of the game of this is. Uh, the last part I recorded was part four, not part three. Like, oh my god. I'm so sorry, guys, but... <laughs> anyway, um... Hello everyone, Agent Fluffy here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy, part five for Turn of Big Top. Anyway, uh, let's... Let's go ahead and, uh, present... Present some evidence. Would you mind taking a look at this? Uh, um, I, 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 I guess we won't need you to look at this after all. Ben is too nervous to even... What the hell, Ben? You can't even... What the hell, Ben? Let's see... December 28, lodging house, first floor, Moe's room. Anyone with a fear of clowns, feel free to look away. Hello? Cabrabo! Congratulations! You're the big wiener! The one millionth visitor to the room of one Mr. Mocos, aka B! Earplugs! Must find earplugs! To celebrate this momentous occasion, would you get or don't get a creep? Just one? <laughs> Did you get my joke right here? <laughs> I won't start giving you more than that one! Uh, no, no, no. If it was funny, it was your duty as a human being to laugh. People who don't laugh are usually last seen in land saying, catch my drift. I fucking hate his puns so fucking hard right now. <laughs> um, Maya? <laughs> this is like some Faustian nightmare. Come on, it was funny! Clowns are always funny in my book. In my book, they're just funny looking. You sure do have a great taste in gross, girl. They look like garb. You look just like red and garb. Oh! Ho! Ah! <laughs> <sighs> I'm going home. No, Nick, you can't. You know, I can excuse a bad joke or two, but this stooge keeps laughing at his own jokes. That's what I object to. Okay, okay, I get it, but you have to admit he's kind of funny. I disagree, Maya. He is not funny at all. Uh, no, I do not have to admit that because he isn't. I agree, Phoenix. <laughs> Could you please tell us more about the Berry Big Circus? It's a very big story. You sure got that kind of time? And the hits just keep on coming. <sighs> Yeah, I completely agree with your sentiment, Phoenix. I fucking hate puns. The circus has been in business for 20 years. We all perform under the guidance of the ringmaster, Russell Berry. 20 years? Wow! Working in the circus is never easy, especially nowadays. With 
movies, TV, and bowling, there's just too much competition. But, but, I love the circus! I love it too! That's why I've been here for 20 years! We work hard to keep the show running, no one says in the clouds on us. Nay, just made a joke, laugh! Har, 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 har. Green Master was a real big shot in the circus world. A real class act. Even when there was no customers, Russell would use his own money to pay me. Because he knew I had a family to care for. He was happy to take care of his employees. I see. How could anyone do that? Such a wonderful man! Mo? Wiggity 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 what? <sighs> I'm sorry, Mo. Nick was born without a sense of humor. Yo, fuck you. <laughs> Don't worry about it. How can you fault someone for being born that way? Fucking hell, what a fucking roast, man. Let's talk about the murder and not roasting me, okay? Uh, let's see. It must have taken place around 10 p.m. last night. After rehearsals were finished, I was ducking out, so I came back here. After I went to bed, that's when I caught a peek of it. Caught a peek? Of the crime. Just as we suspected. This guy's the eyewitness to the crime. The remaster was truly ahead of his time. He would always add new elements to the show. New elements? When you've been a performer for a long time, your act starts to get a bit stale. When you've been a performer for a long time, your act starts getting a bit stale. I realize that even my act can be a bit alone in the tooth. Sometimes my jokes can be a bit, um, old-fashioned. Make up some more funny ones and not puns. That maybe that's a suggestion. Stop it with the puns and go with something else. Go with more funnier senses of humor, more funny jokes. Like, say, uh, fart jokes. A bit long in the tooth? But that make believer taste it too far. Make believer? The magician! The one that thinks he's all high and mighty! He had the gall to say to me, You're one of those funny types, right? What does he mean, one of those? Well, the joke's on him now. On him? Yep, he's got on everyone's nerves. The day of the murder. Go ahead. Nope, no way! Just forget I said anything. I bet he's still hiding something about Max. You say you saw the crime? Do you mind telling me what you saw? Well, the police told me I can't share my story with others. Don't say a word, pal. I'm just going to have to let these lips stay zipped. That's not fair. I guess you're right. Maybe I can tell you a few details. But only if you can get old stiff lips here to make the... But only you can get old stiff lips here to make what's funny. Stiff lips? Wait, do you mean me? Heck, you can do it! <laughs> What's the matter? Just getting ready. Okay. Do you know why I, Phoenix Wright, am a great, great lawyer? Because I'm right all the time. <sighs> but don't. Shh. Fuck me. Not literally. I- I'm cringing so hard. At least his expectations are low. I wouldn't let him quit his day job. Yeesh, cut a guy some slack. At least it was funnier than Chuckles over here. It was not as funny and not as equally funny. Please. That is just the cringiest. It wasn't the greatest joke I heard, but you did try, so I tell you what I saw. 
I'm sorry he's incapable of being funny, Mo. Wow. That night, once I had tucked myself into bed, I heard this amazing noise. It was incredibly loud. It sounded like a giant thump. Once I heard it, I jumped out of bed. That's when I saw... Without question, without doubt, it was that magician! That's all I saw, but it just proves how terrible that man actually is. He knows more about Max than he's letting on. Let's see. What do you think about this? Anything come to mind? Ah! You want some advice on your development as a comedian, right? I see. Well, uh, this is what you do. When you tell a joke, imagine everyone's wearing underwear and dancing in Labada. Um, I think that's enough advice for now. Hey, he was giving you good advice. Don't be so close-minded. This isn't very funny. How am I supposed to know about people who are in the circus? That's the remaster's daughter, Regina. Ever since she was a little girl, she's been watching the circus performances. Cuter than a little puppy Maltese, that Regina. If only my Lorena was that cute. Lorena? Ah, uh, Lorena's my daughter. She lives with her mother now. It's true what they say about the tears of a clown. I've been friends with Russell since even before the service began. He was so selfless. He always thought about others before thinking of himself. I'll find a way to return the favor. He always took such good care of me. I wish I would have thanked him more than I did. Ah, oh, Ben! How's he doing? He's a ventriloquist, isn't he? That's right. Boy, was I surprised when they told me a secret. He's got a second mouth where his belly button should be. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Ben wouldn't tell me a single thing about the murder. Ah, oh, that's a simple problem to solve. He won't talk if he doesn't have his puppet Trillo. Trillo? If Ben doesn't have his ventriloquist puppet, you barely get a word out of him. Really? Hmm, master and puppet. Ah. Uh, what's the matter? Whenever I see my own nose, I remind him of my Italian heritage. Ah, I see. That was because you have one of those Roman noses. Roman all over your face. My, uh, <laughs> I didn't cross the line there, did I? You went so far past it, you need a map to get back. Let's see, I'm gonna present maps. <laughs> if he thinks he can kill the Green Master, it's only just. just. If he thinks he can kill the Green Master, it's only just that he should die too. Mo! Sorry, I crossed the line. But he truly is a disgusting human being. Why do you hate him so much? Let me tell you this one story. The morning before the murder, something terrible happened. Max clocked Ben right over the head as hard as he could. Ben? The ventriloquist with a speech impediment? You should go to the cafeteria and investigate for yourselves. The cafeteria? Let's just say there's gotta be something interesting there. I cannot fucking get it with those prints. <laughs> the fakest laugh ever. Oh, yes. The very big circus is very big, isn't it? You should always carry the map with you to get around. Ah, thank you. Um, this is an atlas. 
<laughs> oh, I killed myself. Really? I'm dying here. Coronary, coronary. Now he's just laughing to hear his own voice. Man. Let's see... Where's the... Wait. December 28th, Big Top Cafeteria. Ew, this place is gross. This must be because of last night. They didn't have time to clean it up after dinner because of the murder. That reminds me. What was it that Mo said? He said that yesterday morning Max clocked Ben over the head here. He also said there's gotta be something interesting here. Nick, what's gotta be interesting? Don't ask. Hmm. Ba, 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 ba. It looks like they left it exactly as it was on the night of the murder. They didn't seem too worried about cleaning up the dishes, didn't they? Hmm. Look at all these dishes making me hungry. Let's go get a burger this next day outside. Once we finish with the case. All right, then let's get this over with, Nick. Here we go! Whoa! Where's the mute button when you need it? The kitchen is over here. Everyone wants to take in turns cooking. There's a duty list posted here. I wouldn't mind trying my hand in cooking for this many people. Maya's killer hamburger! You'd try it, wouldn't you? Keep our cafeteria clean. Doesn't seem like anyone ever read the sign, huh? Maybe it should make it easier to understand. Clean or die. Oh, that would definitely make them clean it up. This is strange. There's nothing on top of the stand. Look here! Max is written on it. It must be a VIP table. Isn't it a bit small to be a VIP table? He wouldn't be putting a 10 course meal on this. Well, he could still eat hamburgers, right? There are dirty dishes all over the place. It must have been too hectic last night to clean up. You know I can't stand a mess, Nick. I think you and I should clean this place up for them. But why do we have to clean up? One, because I hate dirty cafeterias. Two, because one bears repeating. But this is a crime scene. We can't clean it up. We have to preserve it for evidence. Uh, you know I really hate dirty cafeterias. Not as much as I hate cleaning dirty. Not as much as I hate cleaning dirty cafeterias. Ah, Baltimore for, um, Boltons. It doesn't look like there are any useful clues posted here. Boring. Maybe she'll leave a juicy tidbit for someone to read. Juicy? You know, like a fake clue. Hmm, maybe something like, Matches run a killer. Give it up, Maya. You know Gumshoe would take it all seriously. The chair's been knocked over. That's what it looks like. It almost looks as if someone knocked it over in a struggle or used it for self-defense. Or maybe Regent just like to eat dinner in the cafeteria? What's this? Must be a juice bottle. Must be a juice bottle or something? Ah, uh, oh, watch out, Nick! There's broken glass all over the floor! Hmm, a broken bottle just lying in the middle of the floor. Do you think that means anything? There's gotta be something interesting there. Huh? Looks like we're going to have to go back and meet with him. Him? Broken bottle out of the court record. Oh, maybe that's the name of the wine bottle.
Oh. All right, so uh, I'm gonna end things off here. So, <clears throat> I am going to end this off here. So this has been Agent Fluffy and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hey everyone, Agent Fluffy here and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. If you want to support me even more, feel free to support my Patreon. The links are right here.